Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're brand new, make sure to subscribe, give this video a like, and leave a comment down below. Today I'm going to be trying two viral makeup trends on TikTok, and one of them I literally see every single day on my FYP. It is the foundation technique by Meredith Duxbury. Um, yes, I feel like my pores are going to be screaming after this. <laughs> I haven't worn foundation in such a long time, so this is going to be interesting, but you know what? Maybe I'll get some use out of my foundations at last. So I'm going to be using these guys that have been sitting in my drawers for uh, for like almost a year. <laughs> I think my face is going to look um, extremely kicky and my pores are going to be screaming uh, to remove the makeup. Yeah, it's going to be the most makeup I've ever worn. I came prepared with like a wet wipe <laughs> to wipe away the foundation. I have a sponge. I haven't used sponges in forever. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna be trying out that technique and I'm also going to be trying the lifting makeup technique by Ona's Bars. Maybe I mispronounced it, but it looks like this. I'm sure you've seen it on TikTok. So she adds um, a light shade of concealer blush and contour and just blends it away and it's supposed to give you a more lifted and sculpted look. Um, will I do that on my face? I don't know. We shall see. I'm going to be trying both of them out. Yes, I'm going to be doing a, <laughs> a full face glam while wearing an Animal Crossing t-shirt. That's how I roll. So I don't really have a headband headband like Meredith does. So I'm going to use this. <laughs> Which uh, I bought on uh, AliExpress. It's so big and cartoonish, but I feel like it'll do the job of keeping my hair off my face. So she starts off with some clear jellyish primer. I don't have anything like that, so I'm gonna use the e.l.f. putty primer. <laughs> and I'm just gonna scoop, scoop a little bit. Um, in case you see my nails looking horrible, um, I just retouched my hair last night and uh, now they're stained for the next two or three days. So that's great. <laughs> okay, it doesn't even show her applying this, but I'm guessing she probably used her fingers. Here comes the scary part and that is the foundation. So I have the Fenty Pro Filter Foundation in two shades. I have 150 and 105 and I'm just gonna mix them on the back of my hand. This is gonna be so messy. Is this broken? <laughs> it's broken. <laughs> it's broken. I can't open this. What the hell? Are you supposed to like crack it open? You know what? Turns out I have a Too Faced Born This Way foundation right in front of me. I have not used this in a year as well. I'm gonna shake it up and hope for the best. This one's in the shade Almond. I'm just gonna... <laughs> this is so much! Okay, uh, I guess more is more with this trend. So <laughs> let's apply some more. Hopefully this Fenty one has not gone to shit. And it has... <laughs> Uh... <gasps> Do you see that? Oh my god, it squirted all over my Animal Crossing shirt. Oh my god, what the hell? Well, 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 we're off to a fantastic start. <laughs> At least the foundation is coming out, which is great. I'm just gonna grab a random ass brush and do the do that mixing thing that she does and then move my face like this. Now I'm gonna smear it on my face. Ugh, I feel like this is me trying to do her technique but the minimal way because her foundation was like dripping. All right, what's the next step, Meredith? Let me know. What's the next step? Now do I just rub it on my face? Next step, I gotta rub it in with my fingers. Then she goes in with more. What? Okay, well, <gasps> this feels so gross. You know why it feels gross? Because it's not like moisturizer that it sinks in. It's just sitting on top of my face. I don't even know why I applied foundation on my forehead. I have bangs. <laughs> Bangs, it's gonna get covered. Okay, let's just cover my nose piercing and then I'll clean it up. 
do I have to rub it around my eyes as well? I guess so. I guess so. Otherwise, it looks weird as hell. This is gross. <laughs> my hands. I mean, at least I look flawless from back here. <laughs> Where did my lips go? <laughs> yeah, I need to go wash my hands. I'll be right back. As if that wasn't enough foundation, we're gonna go with more foundation. Um, this time around, it looks super liquidy. So I'm gonna go in with the <laughs> Glossier Skin Tint and hope for the best. I'm just gonna smear it. Oh. <laughs> I'm just gonna smear it on my face and now and now we use the sponge I'm using a Juno & Co sponge because I bought it and I don't use it so I'm gonna use it I'm just gonna bounce this on my face you know what from far away it doesn't look bad I thought it was gonna look worse from up close I can see my eye wrinkles it's not that bad I thought it was gonna be worse. Oh god, I forgot to go around my nose. <laughs> you can see the gaps. I think we're good on foundation. I look so weird. I feel like I look super tan. It might have been because of this guy. I think the color oxidized. <laughs> this is the most color I've ever had. <laughs> I can't believe it. Oh. Yeah, I look tan. Yeah, this thing oxidized. It was not this dark. And this is very light. Imagine if I didn't mix them, I would have looked, I would have looked like Donald Trump. I feel like I already do. <laughs> All right, so now we're gonna try the Ona's Bars technique. Take the matchsticks. I'm going to use the shade Amber. Let's do this guy from Nude Sticks. Let's use this guy because it's literally the lightest shade that I have. This is also from Fenty Beauty. So this is basically what we'll be doing. I'm gonna grab the concealer and apply it only on this area just a little bit and then I need to go from here all the way up. oh and I forgot I also need to go from here and then drag it up I don't know why, why I'm doing this I'm gonna put my bangs down as I usually do but for the video do it for the video so up here on my forehead down here i'm just gonna do a stripe and then we're gonna apply blush right here oh, wait, wait 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 i forgot this i need over here now now i did it so okay let's start with the concealer I'm gonna blend it out <laughs> oh my god yeah this is gonna take a while to remove i have a stripe here i'm just gonna I'm gonna use the sponge. Yeah, this concealer from Fenty Beauty is not my favorite. It is uh, kind of difficult to blend out. <laughs> and now for the blush, I'm just gonna use this brush just to keep it in the line. This isn't bad at all. I would I would try this like lifting technique, but with my like usual base <laughs> makeup, which is just concealer, like this is not bad at all. I don't I don't hate it. It's nice. I do feel very uh, washed out in the center of my face. I'm going to add just a little bit of uh, contour, maybe a little blush, just to give my face a little more color. But this technique, I like it. Now I'm almost going back to like Meredith's technique, which is very like full on glam. So I'm gonna add a little contour. Yes, yeah, so I'm just gonna contour it very lightly. And I'm also gonna add just a little bit of blush on the tip. I normally don't contour my nose this much. I know this is even, it's not even that much, but with everything that I have on my face, this feels like a lot. I'm gonna use my Glossier Boy Brow in black. Hold on. I gotta set my face. I gotta use some powder. I'm just gonna use the same old powder that I always use, the Milk Makeup one. I'm not gonna bake. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna bake. I'm just, I'm just pressing this in, especially underneath my eyes. All right, I'm going to do the rest of my makeup. I'm going to recreate a look that she did that I absolutely loved with gold eyeshadow. So I'm going to be using the Urban Decay Naked Honey palette and some other things. So I will see you once I'm done with the rest of my makeup. <laughs>
So this is the finished look. I decided to just leave my bangs to the side for right now. I look like I just came out of um, getting my makeup done for prom at like a makeup counter. It's not bad. It's just, this is not me. From far away, from what I can see with my nearsighted sight, <laughs> uh, my makeup looks really flawless. Or maybe it's because I look blurry as hell without glasses, but I mean, now you can kind of see a little bit more of the fine lines if I come all the way close. From far away, I look like a bad bitch. From close up, I just look like a scared teen that just left the Mac counter and then has to still do her hair for prom. <laughs> yeah, this was interesting. I, the foundation technique, I would probably never try again. It's just not me. I more of a, I'm much more of a concealer girl. <laughs> I just apply a little concealer, spread that out. If I'm going to wear a foundation product, I rather go in with like a tinted moisturizer or the glossy skin tint, just something very light. <laughs> So yeah, I, I would personally not try the foundation technique again. I don't see myself doing that. But the other technique that we tried, the lifted sculpted face, that I liked. That I'm going to try again, but with my regular base. But yeah, both of these <laughs> techniques were quite fun to do. Uh, one was more messy than the other, but you know what? It made for a nice experience. Uh, let me know what you guys thought of uh, either viral makeup trend down in the comment section below. If you want me to try out other TikTok trends, uh, let me know. A lot of them do pop up on my For You page, but if you have any, any techniques that you would like to see me replicate, let me know in the comments. If you're brand new, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you guys very soon in my next video. Yes, I'm gonna look like this in the next video, so just be prepared. All right, bye everyone.